Located at the University of Oklahoma, the Fred Jones Jr. Museum of Art houses a collection of stories. The stories are told through art and photography. I think that there are a lot of stories in this exhibition. The latest featured exhibit is the work of famous photographer Edward Curtis from the early 1900s. I looked at a lot of Edward Curtis photography, being an artist, a Native American artist, and, and seeing what you know some of the historic, through his eyes, photos were. It's very interesting to see this from the from the perspective of the modern day uh, 21st century Native American person. In the summer of 2016, Native photographer Will Wilson and curator Heather Atone revisited the same tribes that Curtis photographed in the 1920s. They connected with seven Oklahoma tribes to compile this exhibit called Photosynthesis. The role of the idea of synthesis, of taking these images that Curtis had created that historicized Native Americans and synthesizing that historic image into a broader representation of Native American people within our state. What I really like is the variety of what is here because I think it reflects a more accurate sense of the variety and diversity of being Native um, in the 21st century. How does, that, how does that look and how does that feel? They can be seen as members of their tribal communities, as citizens of tribal nations as well as citizens of Oklahoma um, and without that being um, one or the other. The Curtis photographs are paired side by side with native photographer Will Wilson's current work using the same photographic technique from nearly a century ago. So wet plate collodion is a process by which a piece of aluminum is cut to fit the camera. In this case, all of the plates that Will used were eight inches by 10 inches. And then each plate is then coated with an emulsion and dipped in a silver nitrate solution. And in the process of that, the piece of aluminum actually becomes the film. So all of the images are embedded onto these metal plates. Once the gallery was set, when we were opening the boxes with the images and placing everything up on the wall. There was just such a beautiful spirit that filled this space. And the images I think are incredibly striking and profound. Profound because while working on this project, she made a discovery. Some of Curtis's photographs did not accurately portray the tribes. Autone and Wilson set out to do so by collaborating with the native communities. There are so many aspects of our diversity, our cultural breadth here in our state, and so often things have become affixed to a particular historic moment. It is such a beautiful expression of the power of collaboration and the power of giving other people an opportunity to have voice. This exhibit celebrates Native heritage and Oklahoma history. Explore it at the Fred Jones Jr. Museum of Art. Quintran, Discover Oklahoma.